They're coming. Sorry to wake you, ma'am. Routine check. Can I see your ID, please? ID? Yeah. Yeah, sure. the message. I got a couple of things to explain before before we start about um, what we're going to do, how we're going to work, the technique and all those things. So we just capture the markers, but the markers are really precise, including on your face. So you don't need to overact. You don't need to do ah, I mean, things like this. I mean, it's, you can be as subtle as you would in a film uh, and the technology will get it. So um, don't bother about all this and don't touch your markers <laughs> interactivity is really a strange thing compared to to movies where you, you don't need to bother about what the audience will will do because they just watch here most of the time the player will control you so in some cases you will have to um, do something and do a variation of this based on what the player says so don't be surprised, you saw that in the script, if sometimes you need to say yes and no and maybe. So it's a big day for two reasons, because there are, there are many pages, yeah. but also because we, you'll be four actors today on stage. Mm -hmm. So Blair is with us now, but in like two hours we have two other guys cool. uh, coming, playing <laughs> Paul, the father, and Corey, the young, youngest brother. Sure. You look at them, and this is where, once everybody served you, Blair, you see that she didn't take anything. This dialogue, it, it takes place at the end of this. So you've almost been killed, you're on the floor. Um, look into her eyes, give this confidence, you're special, Judy and Aiden's got nothing to do with this. <coughs> oh, are you okay? Yes. <laughs> it's just, it's really hot. <laughs> Okay, we should, can we start that just over again? <laughs> okay, T-pose. Um, this is your oh, yeah. control mechanism? Totally. 
cool. Because cool. <laughs> that the line no, with the apartment only works if certain choices were made. Yeah. But yes. Because in some cases he left before and I knew we. That, and that and why? I mean, and what have I done with that? Maybe I should just say, like, no one's ever gonna lie to me again. Go. I you feel like if I open it first, it's like he could, so he could just yeah. grab me. Yeah. <laughs> And probably the first person you want to talk to is Dawkins, but instead of saying what you want him to say, which is, you're, you were right, Jody, to make this decision, and I'm with you, the only thing you can say is come back and we'll talk. It's Saturday night and I'm 16! I'm locked up in here and I just want to go out and have some fun! I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. He was never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, w w why not? Hmm. Good. Jamal Sheikh Sharif. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. To my new apartment. <laughs> oh, so when did you move in? Oh, um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anyone so pig-headed. <laughs> You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. You lied to me. Johnny! You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Judy, listen, I... Tell them, Nathan. Don't you have anyone? No family or friends you can turn to? There's something that I... I have to tell you about me.